Welcome back. This is Manjana Chandraya. Today's session will be learning Excel shortcuts. If you're new to this channel, do subscribe with the bell icon for more interesting videos and learnings. Why shortcuts? So shortcuts, as the name says, shortcut it helps to reduce the using of mouse and it gives efficiency into your work and reduce your lot of manual using your mouse and doing it. Shortcuts simplifies your simplifies and gives you efficient to work faster. So let's start. I have put few uh, shortcut keys. You know there are plenty of shortcut keys. I just trying to cover uh, around 20-25 shortcut keys in this video. Uh, let's start. So uh, I have a data here. So I need to. So first of all, we need to know how to get the shortcuts. So uh, the way of learning to know what are the shortcut keys. For that, we can do an example here. So select this range. So you can use Control A. To select the range of this data, right? So I want to border this uh, data. So you can go to Home, the Borders, All Borders. So now you can see it is all it is already bordered, right? But I don't want to use mouse here. I want to use the sh uh, shortcut key. For that, you can start with the Alt. When you click Alt, you can see the alphabets popping up here. These are the shortcut alphabets. Uh, we are going to use it now. For Home, it is H. So let's click on H. So again, if you click on H, so it is popped up all the alphabets. So you are going for the borders. So it says B here. Click B, and B we are going to show the all borders. So all borders it says A. So H B A. So if you click A here, it's going to border all this thing, right? So very simple. Uh, the only thing is that you should uh, be able to memorize uh, the shortcut number alphabets. So it, initially it will be tough, and keep using it, and you will be familiar with it. H Alt H B A will be your borders, okay? So I need to unborder this. Again, you can use select the range, Control A for selecting this range. Alt H B for borders, and no borders. It says N here. So click N. So now it has removed it. So uh, how how we know that whether that particular uh, uh, alphabet has a shortcut? So what you can do is again click on Alt H. B for borders, sorry, H, B. So for every uh, function, there is given a alphabet underlined. So underlined is nothing but it is saying that this alphabet is the shortcut for that particular function. So if L, uh, L is underlined, so left for you want to get left border, you can use L here. So here uh, is also showing here, but also using a uh, uh, understanding that. If anything is underlined in any character, then you remember that it is the shortcut key for that particular function. So for borders, it says all A is the underlined. So you can click on A. This borders. Though this way you can learn the shortcut, remember it, keep using it. So you'll um, you'll be much faster in your Excel. You become an expert in this using Excel shortcut keys. Let I have uh, had a few of the shortcut keys. Let's go one by one. So first one is the Control Shift and L to filter. You can use Control Shift L to filter the data. So click somewhere in the data. You can use it. So you can use the Control Shift L. I, you want to remove it? I can use Control Shift L again. It will go to remove the filters. Or uh, there other other people use D Alt D F F. So Alt D F F also gives the adds the filters. And you want to remove? Again use the same function Alt D F F to remove the uh, filters so very simple on that so let's move on to uh, thing is called control one format cells so i have a data here as you can see so let me uh, increase the font so that you're able to see the thing data so data date but it's in numerical value i want to change it to date format so uh, usually what we do right click format cells then we go date and we go ahead and change as per our requirement right so instead of doing that, you can use Control One. So it directly takes you to the format cells. Then you can go ahead and change it here to date format, something like that. So I don't want. Okay, let's say I'm, I don't want to use the Control One to go to uh, format cells. I want to directly change it to date format. For that, you can use you can use the function called Alt. So let me copy this little this side so you're able to see. Right, so I don't know it's too big. 
let me introduce it little further okay the next is the next is function called control shift ash to get the date format you can use control shift ash hashtag hashtag you know hashtag then you get the date format so uh, i got into date format but i want to get it into numerical back so for that you can use control shift and the and this uh, like an first ps uh, called wave wave you can use this function it is next to, uh, it is uh, near the uh, numerical one left hand side of that you can go ahead and select this you can use control shift that uh, the wave uh, function uh, then the keyboard key so that it will directly change it to numerical so control shift hashtag will be your date format right so let's move on to the next one control e so fill down it's one of a wonderful function uh, shortcut key that's very helpful let's use control e let's go into a data tab so so I have a data here employee name and the numericals i want to get the email address uh, we know that let's say these people are work has all uh, everyone has the gmail id so so i need to type ram ram at gmail.com so again for these people also i know sham gmail.com so i see if you click it automatically takes down right sometimes it, if it doesn't work so what you can go you can go ahead and select this data down use control e so automatically he copies the that gmail.com for the particular uh, for every employee it's so very helpful not only that say let's let's say so let's remove this say ram these people are in uh, sales department so i put it as underscore sales so i uh, no need to do concatenate and get this uh, ram underscore sales for everyone just go on you do one select use control e automatically takes this uh, saturday sat sales mat sales cat sales you can see this cells auto it's directly filling down to the respective uh, rows it's a very helpful function control e so let's move on to next one is called so list is to insert a row or a column so let me say i want to insert a row you can use control shift use a plus sign so it you either you want to shift cell right down enter 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 row or enter column so again you can see this alphabet is underlined so what i want to get r i want to insert a row i can use click on r now it has gone there hit it's open a insert a row for me again shift control shift plus so i want to insert a column again it says c here just click c enter so it is adding the column here that is one way of using it or uh, so let's say i want to select a particular cell so i want to select this g g column you can use control space so it will going to select the entire column let's say i want to select the row you can use control shift space so let's say shift space it going to select the uh, entire row here so and let's say i want to hide this um, column can use can use uh, alt 0 to hide it to unhide it you can use sir control 0 for uh, hide for unhiding you can use alt o c u i know it's little bit uh, difficult to remember uh, just remember that alt o c u will unhide a column here so i need to hide a row here so you can use control 9 to hide a row to unhide it again control just use shift with the uh, control shift uh, 9 so uh, i'm using control shift 9 control shift 9 will go into and add the row here so to hide a row it will be control 9 to unhide just we adding a shift in uh, along with that so control shift 9 and add it okay so f2 is the open this save as tail box usually what we do go save as we do like this right rather than doing that you can use f12 directly it will directly take you to the saving function so you can go ahead and save your functions in your save your file in any or any other folders you can use f12 for that control f2 is for print view so let's say i want to see a print view is rather than going to print view something like this instead of that you can use 
can use control F2 so it directly take you to the print view so it's very easy to go use control F2 so it is directly taking there so next is spell check say example I have, I have written something wrong here so I need to spell check this you can use F7 function so it will go in it directly takes you you want to change it go ahead and change to waters something like that so so, so it has changed you can use F7 function for spell check so go to function is nothing but F5 if you want to uh, do something here say example I have a, somewhere blank cells right so I can get select the range use F5 function so again see and underscore for uh, special yes you can use alt keep alt to do it alt s so i need to select one of the blanks again blanks it is uh, k is the underlined so alt k and hit ok click int enter so now it selects one of the blanks for that you can use f5 function uh, for the go to function go to next is this these are the very uh, these two functions very helpful control open square bracket shows the formula range and control close bracket goes back to the formula this too is very helpful let's go into the data and see format sheet so here if you do double click or if you do f2 here it is taking the it's totaling particular range right so to, uh, i need to go and click here to know so where it is taking you can use control square bracket open square bracket so directly go into the range so what it does is when you keep a cursor on the formula use control uh, open square bracket it takes to, to the range where it is exactly getting not only the same sheet um, maybe in this entire, entire workbook and wherever it is linked it will go into that sheet or if you have linked from a different uh, workbook which is already closed and if you click on this say example this is uh, this is pulling from a some other file which is already closed you use control uh, open square bracket it will directly go and open that file from the folder and it goes directly to the range where it is exactly taking the data so it's very helpful and you want to come back you can see it is, it is in the range now right i need to go back to the formula you can use control close square bracket so if you use control square bracket so it again it's coming back to the to the original formula i think it's very helpful sometimes we need to know it is linked to some multiple sheets we know from where it is taking use control square bracket open square bracket control open square bracket it takes to the range of the source again use control close square bracket it comes back to the formula a very helpful function i usually use in my day to day work these two is very important and add a commenter uh, edit a, you want to add a comment in a particular set you can use you can use shift f2 so if you use shift f2 directly open a comment you can go ahead and add your comment here and say i want to copy this and i want to paste only the uh, only the comment no need to copy the, copy the formula or say there is a term data here but i didn't i need to copy only the uh, comments here for that you can do click on the cell use fy special again i need to say comments see comments it is here see just click oh, what's happening control space special i think you need to go to right click sorry space special comments so we are trying to copy paste that so comments directly taking the comments not the anything else other than that it's directly taking the comments just right click sp space special comments we need to only take, copy the comments column it's very helpful next is the control t control t is for creating table so we want to create a table for this uh, data you can use control t so now it is taken table and click ok so it has selected this range as the table you can go ahead and change the table name or something else you can give it here so you can use control t for the to create a table and do ok the next one is the pure table so pure table uh, there are uh, you can use two shortcuts one is called alt dp so click on the data you can use uh, sorry alt dp so it's, it it's usually takes to the old version of classic uh, pure table that you can use it alt dp or you can use 
alt nv also takes to the pivot table so alt nv is nothing but what we initially earlier I did alt so it opens this insert n so again n so pivot it says v so click v so that's the way i uh, i just added added here so very simple and you can use it uh, whenever you need so alt nv for pivot table so control k is for the hyperlinks hyperlink i want to create a hyperlink just click control k it directly takes into the place so these are the sheets the data sheet and the format sheet i want to uh, link to the format sheet click here so directly click if you click here it directly takes to the format sheet so you can use the control k for the hyperlink um let's move on to the next one so insert a date so insert a date you can use control semicolon so control semi control semicolon you'll get a date here same thing so i need to add time i just need a time you can use control shift semicolon so only thing is to get a time we are adding a shift here see we are adding a shift okay adding a shift here otherwise here we are not adding any shift right so semicolon um, now you can see uh, let's say i need to merge these two so for that you can use control semicolon space control shift semicolon so now you can see both we can add it just we need to add a space keep the cursor control semicolon then you give a space don't hit enter then again you use control shift semicolon so we'll get the date and time the current date and time okay next is the uh, insert a chart you can use alt f1 for inserting a chart let's go here let's say designation and the amount we have here let's we'll put alt f1 directly takes the gives the graph bar chart then you can go ahead and modify as per your requirement so when you select the range hit uh, alt f1 it directly gives the uh, chart uh, in bar chart then what is visual basic editor and macro dial box usually sometimes we use um, in in our uh, excel we have a macro 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 codes will be there we need to know we need to go and check what is there you can use alt f11 it will directly take you to the visual basic editor application so you can use alt f f11 to go there or uh, and uh, sometimes you want to run a macro you can use alt f8 so it directly go to the if you have any macros here it will going to show you you can run the macro from here so rather than going and for the macro something like this you can use alt f8 so i i almost covered around 2027 um, shortcuts i know there are plenty of shortcuts uh, there to learn so i i felt like this this would be the uh, would be uh, most of the things which we usually use and uh, hope this session was good interesting if you think the video was interesting kindly like subscribe hit the bell icon for more interesting videos and learnings and and i'll be sharing this file in the description link i'll give i'll be uh, uploading this uh, sheet in the so that you can download this uh, excel sheet and please uh, do add your comments if you want to know any other formula or function kindly let me know your comments in the comment box i'll try to cover those in the future videos anyway thank you for your time happy learnings